another day, another beautiful, sunny, gorgeous day. So I'm off to the C.S. Lewis Nature Reserve. It's not very big, so it won't take me very long. So after that, I'm going to take you down to the river um, and we'll go for a walk along somewhere where I've been meaning to go and check out since I was probably 20 because my friend used to go to the pub there all the time. So I guess we'll see what it's like. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we find. You never know. You know what my days are like. Anything could happen. For you C.S. Lewis fans, this is the Kilns, which is where C.S. Lewis lived. I believe up until he died in 1960 something. I'm sure there's a plaque over there somewhere. Actually, I'll go and have a look. Um, you can actually, I didn't realise this, you can actually go and have a look round it, but you have to make appointment via email. It's not like an open thing you can just go in and doesn't have set opening times you actually have to arrange for someone to take you around the house and give you a tour um, which will be really interesting to have done sometime apparently people do stay there so it is partly lived in um, but yeah that's that's his old house so I'm going to just I'll take you around the side and have a look at the plaque and then the nature reserve is up here. So the nature reserve, this would have all been his garden. This house wouldn't have been here. The nature reserve was his garden. All of this would have been his garden. And this house was actually mentioned in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, the kilns. Um, so yeah, this is where he got his inspiration. Okay, so 1898 to 1963. Oh, they are, I remembered that well. And he did. He lived here from 1930 to 1963. Okay. Is this another beep out site? And Brendan loves coming here to look for kingfishers. He's quite good at spotting the kingfishers. Frogs, butterflies, lots of catkins. Earth star, not sure what that is. Looks a bit like a fungi or something. So the management water features keeping from silting up deadwood, retaining standing deadwood favors Insects, birds, bats, fungi, log piles, providing cover for small mammals. And the woodland control of non-native invasive garden plants. So this is what they do. So they keep up with the water, make sure there's plenty of deadwood for the animals and wildlife. And uh, make sure that the woodland stays British. It was once owned by the celebrated author C.S. Lewis. The main pond was created when clay was dug in the 18th century and is now home to many creatures including frogs, sticklebacks, grass snakes and pond skaters. In spring toads spawn here and coots and moorhens build their nests on the small island and amongst overhanging vegetation. In summer dragonflies, damselflies, bring aerobatics and bright metallic colours to the scene. Look out for the dazzling coloured kingfisher perched on a branch watching for fish. In the woodland there are many springs creating wetlands or wet areas where giant horsetail grows. Bluebells provide a splash of colour early in the year, whilst butterflies like the speckled wood enjoy basking in the summer sun. Look out for the unusual earth star fungus, oh there you go, it is a fungus, in autumn as you walk along the path as well as the large sandstone boulders known as doggers. There we go, let's go check it out. Plenty of ducks in the water over there. You hear all those birds? So peaceful.
Hello, ducks. Okay. Which of these creatures live in or on the pond? Marvin the Mallard says. Discover what else lives here when you follow the path around the woods. Ah, sticklebacks, dragonflies, coots and mallards. Oh, enchanted nightshade. Puffballs. Brendan loves puffballs. I'll have to tell him puffballs are here. So over here, not sure what it was originally, but this is where the bats will be. Perfect bat spot. Oh, look, it's a little fairy door. That's cute. There's a box up there for blue tits. Nesting box. Ooh, very sludgy. You can imagine, can't you, that this was, you know, when the water was flowing, where he got his inspiration for things like the beavers. Because we used to have a lot more beavers in the UK. You can imagine, can't you, that you probably sat and watched them build dams. I think I'm losing my trousers. I could have done with the belt. <laughs> This is all the deadfall. You know, we keep a lot of this stuff in our woodlands. It's great for composting down. It's also great habitats for, um, for wildlife. And all too often we clear away all this sort of stuff from our gardens when really, we should let it rot down. Not seeing any deer today. Most of the deer will stay over on the Shotover Woods, which is... Shotover Park is another park in Oxford. And we can walk there from here. It's only about 10 minutes away. But we'll do that another day. In fact, I'm pretty certain one of my videos from the end of last summer was from Shotover. Didn't see any deer though. <laughs> Imagine having this as your back garden. Certainly create, um, inspire creativity, wouldn't it? Oh, look. A little swing. And again, dog poo bag. What is it with people? If you're going to bag it, put it in the ruddy bin. It does make me cross.
think we've had quite a lot of rabbits here. <laughs> rabbits having a good dig around. Wonder where their burrow is. All I can see is lots of digging, digging spots. Perfect spot for a snake. But it's nice and cosy in there. Any snakes at home? When I bring my boys here, they always want to do this bit. They love this bit. And up the top there somewhere was a rope swing. I don't know if it's still there. I know it's up there. Well, I know it was up there. Because I had to go on it and fell off. My friend caught it on camera. It was quite funny. I did hurt myself. Again, I was doing that whole I'm four, not 40 thing again. I do that a lot. <coughs> what happens when most of your friends are four-year-olds, eh? What's that over there? Let's go and have a little look. Something on this tree where the rope swing is. Oh, it's more fairy things, look. To go with the fairy door. Fairies! That's cute. This one. All right, let's go for a walk along the river. Um, food smells gorgeous, so I'll be coming back here for something to eat. This is the pub, King's Arms. Oh, the food smells gorgeous. All right, let's go and explore. This place is called Sanford, just outside um, Oxford. Oh look, they're opening the lock. Let's go watch that, shall we? Let's go and have a little look. people rowing.
they are pretty much level now with the other side and the gates can open the other end features on the Thames because we're walking the Thames right and we've walked all the way from the source all the way down to Waterloo Bridge so that's the th we've done all that wow. section now the only section we haven't done but we've had to miss a section which is from here to Abingdon because it was so wet when we did it we had right. to abandon it which is why we're doing it today just to complete your yeah and, well, then, and then we've done all the way down to Waterloo Bridge in wow London. But it's, it's very nice. It is something I'd like to do. At the moment, my sister and I, we're working on the Ridgeway. So we're oh, doing yeah. that in sections. Well, um, so we've, we've done... Near Goring, the Ridgeway Path and the Thames Path are just on opposite sides of the river. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. OK. So we've actually done a bit of the Ridgeway just for a bit of a change. Yeah. And, um, yeah, this, yeah, there's a section up near Goring. And uh, the problem with the Ridgeway Path, it doesn't seem to be as well maintained as the Thames no. Path. No. It's not. In some sections, it's a bit, a bit of a jungle. And you get a bit lost. Yeah. <laughs> River Thames. This is the source of the Thames. Up near Siren Cess. This is out near where I was yesterday. Mm, yesterday? Yes. Yes. No, the day before yesterday. And then we come down here. And all the way down there. Sandford Lock. There we go. So we're going to walk to Ifley. We just had a lovely chat with that couple. We were walking to Abingdon. This is where we are now. And I'm heading up this way. He said it's very scenic and definitely worth a walk. They are walking the whole of the Thames, so they've done from London. And uh, they're just doing the little bit they've not yet done because it was too wet and boggy. Right, let's go. Now these houses will cost a fortune because they back onto the river. And these ones with their own moorings, Captain Toad, good name for a boat. garden pod sitting in Don't mind living there well above my budget I'll have that boat, how about that? That house and that boat. Little bit of a weir. Only a little one.
overflow section. That blue sky. That's pretty amazing. It's like a pirate ship. Pretty damn beautiful that. Might do another quick live stream from this spot. I'm not going to get much walking in today. <laughs> Having too much fun enjoying the scenery. Looks like a big fish has been eaten. Lots of fish scales on the floor here. Looks like something's enjoyed a big fish. Right. I'm going to get some walking in. I need to get my button gear. I'm on a bit of marshland now. I'm going to get soggy. All very muddy. Not really sure how far to go before I turn back because I do want to have some lunch. A railway bridge up there. The trains to go over. I hear a lot of geese. It's the railway bridge. Boats. This is cute. A fish all over the fence. A little bit of art. I like that. The shadows. Right, I don't think I'm that far from Ifley, but in all honesty, I want some lunch, so I don't want to run out of time. Kenzie has given me his Pokeball with Pikachu in it. Well, I'm assuming it's Pikachu because all I can hear from my backpack when it's nice and quiet is Pika, 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 go, Pika, Pika thinking what is that noise? That would be my backpack. Oh, there we go. Get through the gate. This is a kissing gate. So, you've got a kiss when you go through it. It's tradition. So you just had a kiss with me in the kissing gate. There you go. Whether you liked it or not. Oh, right. I'm heading back because I need some food. And I just need food, I'm hungry. Bowl of uh, crunch nut cornflakes. And when I say bowl, I mean half a bowl because there wasn't very much left. Is not great for keeping you going on a long walk. So, yes. And I fancy a cuppa. I've got water, which I've been drinking, but my thermos has run out of tea. So, head back for some food. It is so hot, so hot. Well, didn't get any lunch. Um, queue was horrendous. You needed a table number and I couldn't see any tables. They had a lovely roast dinner in there. So um, I had a bag of crisps and a pint of orange juice. So yeah, I'll have to have something nice when I get home. So I'm gonna head home now, it's nearly three o'clock. No, it's not, it's just gone half two. 
kind of feel like I'd like to go somewhere else, but you know, we'll see what happens. I'm, maybe I should just go home. I'm running out of battery and maybe I'll finish my book. Maybe I'll go home and read. It's just such a lovely day. It just seems criminal to be sat indoors. It's very strange. I'll tidy up the garden a little bit, maybe. Sweep up some of the muck. Could do with going through my shed, but I'm not going to start that at half two. No, I'm going to go home and relax. I'm always on the go. I should relax. I should just learn to relax. Okay, I'm going to head home. What? My boy doing brainy stuff that I don't understand. It's a chart. Do you even understand? No, I just said I don't understand. It's all things. It's all stuff I don't understand. It's all just, things. I just write all these things that I don't understand. Just... It looks like stuff that Sheldon writes on the board in Big Bang Theory. That's because it basically is the stuff you write. So from the chemistry, you just cancel out all the physics. I've always said you were my little Sheldon, didn't I? Bazinga. Well, if you get it finished, we can have a game of flux. Or whatever game you choose. It is 4.30. 4.30. And my nephew just video called me and beckoned me to come play and hang out and have dinner with them. KFC, no less. So, how could I say no? How could I say no? So, um, whoop, let's just put my seatbelt on. Lee didn't mind being ditched again, bless him. He's doing his own thing, he's quite happy because it means he can do gaming. The boys are doing their own thing. Kenzie's in the bath, he's about to do gaming. Brendan is still ploughing his way through his physics and chemistry. No, chemistry and biology. Um, and they're all having a kebab for dinner tonight, so yeah. They don't need me, so I'm off to hang out with my sister, taking some games, well, all my sisters, hang out with them. I bought some games with me, um, and we're gonna have KFC. Have a very quick dunk in the bath and threw on some comfy clothes. So, let's hit the road. Again. Again. I'm going to spin. I got four. One, two, three, four. Oh, you already took the piece. Your skeleton took it. Right, your go. Yum, yum, yum. I got treasure. Hey, look at mine. Yours. Ready? I'm going to get your treasure. My sister yeah. has just given me a plate of steaming eyes. mud. <laughs> Apparently it's edible. Know. They've usually got black eyes. They're all yeah. like, they're black and really dark. Are you sure this is edible? Well, if you don't want it, I'll have it. <laughs> I'm not going to say I won't eat it. It does look like a big steaming cow pup. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a self-sourcing chocolate food. It's very saucy. So you're going to be ungrateful about it. Yeah. I will eat it gratefully. Thank you. It's delicious and beautiful. Mackenzie. You don't feel very well, do you? Mm. You need to go upstairs and get the thermometer out of the thingy box upstairs, I think. I don't think there is one in there. I'm done for the day. Oh, have a look in here. There might be one in. No, there's not. Medicine box upstairs. So I'm done for the day. It's been an awesome day. I've had a nice time playing games with my sisters and I read a lovely bedtime story to Jasper all about poo and they fed me KFC. It's been a lovely day. Now I'm home with my family and everyone's going to bed. So, oh, it's dark. I need to upload this vlog. <laughs>